Guys, the day is finally here. We are going to take you on a tour of the Bingham household. Now, before we do ready? that though, I've gotta let you guys know, you think about preparing your home if you're gonna be entertaining company, right? Like say you've got like Thanksgiving at your house and there's 30 people coming over. There is a lot of prep that goes into getting that home show ready to have company over. Now imagine you're inviting more than 92,000 people into your home. No pressure. <laughs> Mom has been hard at work getting this place under control and looking immaculate. So we're gonna take you inside our home. This is how we bing them and this is our house. Come with us, let's go check it out. Come on in guys. Oh, Hazy's got fresh flowers. Thank you, Hazy girl. So, guys, in through the front door, that's pretty obvious. Now, we gotta try and do this thing in under 30 minutes, guys. This is how we bang them. Yeah, this is how we bang them.com slash shop. Let's see, guys. This is how we bang them slash shop. I love your flowers. Okay. Now, guys, we're gonna try and show you this entire home in under 30 minutes, which sometimes is hard because I have a tendency to like role play and I'll be like, oh, this is what I do on this couch. And No, literally, he does that in the basement. I'll let you, I'm gonna have him show you because he did it for every person. I'll show you how the, the basement's kind of my little happy place. Okay, guys, check it out. First room, mom, what is this room used for? Nothing. <laughs> it's absolutely so true. It is literally just where the kids destroy. Literally, usually the kids, no, 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 don't do it. We don't need to show them a real life example, but usually the pillows are just thrown everywhere. Laz hangs out over here. You guys have seen that. Our miracle kitten lives underneath that windowsill right there or on top right of this blanket, here. his two favorite spots. But okay. other than that, I mean, this is pretty much Laz's room, guys. This is what you would call what? Like the living room? It's like the untouched. The untouched room, like this, honestly, I cleaned it for you all. There's usually stuff sitting in This here. is usually also like all a hybrid storage area in this front room. Which so it's funny because it's like the first house you, or the first room you see in our house. And so. typically it's like the nicest. Like this is the one that you would kind of decorate with fancy stuff. Yes, shoes. We do take our shoes off, Hazy. Thank yep. you for that. Show them. See, we put, take our shoes off and put them on this gray little mat over here. Hazy knows the drill. So guys, typically you put like your fancy stuff in here that you don't want the kids to kind of like get into this room and break, but this Like is, this. There demonstration. you go. Demonstration. Perfect demonstration. Perfect demonstration right there, folks. <laughs> Thank you. Come on into the Okay, here we go. Let's go to the next one. You guys all see oh, this room all the time. Probably I love what you've I'm done sorry. with the place. I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's also something you're not this supposed to do. What they do. Guys, since the kids have been born, there's been a rule to not jump off the ottoman and oh you just saw how they got on here. <laughs> I've even yeah. caught him doing it. One time I heard it crack and I was like, yeah. Oh, guys, okay, don't, 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 don't. <laughs> so this room, when we bought this house, we were like, every house we looked at, we wanted an open, open area so I could see from like the kitchen, every room. So we've added some fun stuff. Like I had friends make uh, those two shelves. And I get more compliments on those shelves than anything. My dad made this for us. So we're finally starting to get the stuff in our house that we've been wanting. And don't forget, we just painted this white. Just painted this. And that tile's gonna get changed soon, but we got a nice fireplace right there. Yes. Something that's kind of funny, guys, in our last place, it was like this small town home. Uh, we had three boys sharing a room. Our whole house, our whole house right easily. Our whole house was just basically one room smaller than this room. And this TV looked huge in that oh house. Oh my gosh. Like we could not believe how big our TV was. It took up the entire wall. Unfortunately, we moved in here <laughs> and it <laughs> looks like a teeny tiny TV. We may be upgrading that soon. Stand by for that. So this room is like really where we hang out most of the time. Like it's just kind of like- Watch shows? Watch yeah, shows. Watch shows at night. There you go, there you go. Practice parkour on the couch. <laughs> Hazy's got a show right there. We've cleaned this up. I won't I won't bore you with the details of back here, but this is where the kids spend a lot of time playing with the kitchen set and Legos and Laz's tower that also Mindy's dad built. You've got these beautiful shelves up here. So there you go guys, family portrait above the fireplace. We absolutely love that. We like to update that every year and so look forward to a new photo shoot coming soon. Um, all right, where should we go next? Probably- Kitchen, the other place that you see me most of there the time. There is no way any of you don't have this area memorized at this point. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Uh, we spend tons of time in the kitchen. We are here for obviously every meal. Homework. This is just where we, I don't know, like Brandon comes in, we talk here. I don't, I don't know. I love it. We gather around this island, hang out right what? here. I spend a lot of time and so do the kids right in here in the pantry. Oh, wow. Look at that. Yeah. Hold on, turn the Twinkies pop. Oh, how about um, that? <laughs> are you showing that the box is open and I had one for breakfast? <laughs> Kenny. What? Yeah. That's, Kenny. That's yeah. a delicious breakfast. Yeah. And mom's case law sale paying off right there. Guys, so this is the kitchen that you are very familiar with. Pantry right there, refrigerator, your basic kitchen setup. Now, some of the stuff that we want to do in the future, like I think mom kind of wants to redo some tile. Oh my gosh. 
she wants to make the cabinets white. So there are some things that we want to do. We started actually, if you go back and watch the video where we moved into this house, all of the walls were like tan, yellow, and brown. And they're like three tone. So we painted everything. Gray walls, white ceilings, white baseboards. So that helped a lot. And we changed all these lights to these bright LED lights. Yes. That was like one of our favorite things when we moved in here. We started videoing. We're like, uh, it's, yellow. it's really yellow. Yeah. Yeah, we and so it's from the lighting. And the, and the vlog, I think, looks much better because of the light. Oh, it looks so much better. See yeah. that. So guys, very quick, just sweeping through here. You got your dishwasher, you got your sink, you got your stove, you got your island where we hang out pretty much all the time. Like literally either side of the island, elbows on it, sitting down, just talking. We love it. You know my favorite part of the whole kitchen though? Can anyone guess what my favorite part in this whole area would be? Besides the pantry. I can't guess. I can get the kitchen table that my dad built for me. Oh, yeah. I told him what I wanted. He made it happen. We have yet to stain the top of it. We promised we would stain it, and we were going to stain it to kind of match those shelves or match that thing, but we just love the plastic on well, it. So I now have decided on a stain. It's just like actually making it happen. So I'm going to stain it, and then I'm going to cover it in plastic again because it's so easy to wipe up if the kids spill. Hazy spills milk all Which the time. Which they do often. Or mac and cheese, if you saw yesterday's video. Oh, my. Okay, guys, moving through. All right, this. Down the first hall we have. It is a closet. Oh. You probably saw me read this last summer. It never is like, looks nice. I swear, it doesn't matter how hard but I But it try. looked worse before you made this shelf and gave them their own individual things because oh. it was just kind of all over the floor. So it yeah. looks a lot better now. So now they each have a cubby. You can see I put their names on each cubby. Backpacks on top, shoes on bottom. We hang all of our jackets here. You know, the jackets that I ran all over town finding for San Francisco and it was the hottest day of the whole year. Oh yeah, that's right. So. Very nice, very nice. Okay, bathroom, super simple. Oh, I like, oh, I like those shelves though. I do like those, I bathroom. I stained those shelves. Just saying, I'm kind of a big deal. And I stained that. Okay, here we go. Yes. <laughs> and I stained the. This isn't a room we come into oh. very often. This is where I work. <laughs> I do all my clients here. I've been able to decorate it how I want. My money-making room. I yeah, guess. this has been nail salon. Guys, this is one of those rooms that when we walk through the home, we've been through a bunch of homes trying to decide where we wanted to live, and we came in and we saw this and we went, oh my gosh, it's Mindy's nail salon. We just saw it and we thought, this house is custom built for us. It has a nail salon built it's into it. I don't know what else we would use this for. The floor. perfect area for this. It's Absolutely perfect. Main floor, anyways, it's perfect. We love it. Okay. Okay, come on, let's go show them upstairs. Oh, garage, yes. Gotta see this garage, guys, because I spent a whole 10 minutes getting it cleaned yesterday. So I will just do a quick run through of the garage, guys, because it's not the most amazing looking thing, but it's got the epoxy floors, which we love. It's big enough for both of our cars. And one of the things that was very important to us was having a third car to put all of the bikes and toys and scooters and things like that. So we have the third car, but instead of being three across, we actually ended up getting one that has two deep on one side. So this is the place where we put all the bikes and scooters and toys. There's a workbench back there, a lot of storage. And then this door is where the kids can go in and out to play with their scooters and bring them back in. And we're working on getting them to put them back in the right place. But a lot of storage up here. Mom recently put in these amazing lockers oh, right here. So awesome. They're going to be great for coats and galoshes and snow boots. I am especially excited for this come winter time because that's oh going to be a great place to put those things. Yes. We got these hanging things over here. Mom put up those that are great for hanging chairs and all kinds of different stuff. So, all right, guys, moving on. Come on, Daisy. Let's go show them upstairs. Want to? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Come on. Oh, so, so when we first moved in, we'd give tours of this house, you know, to any visitors or friends who came over. And so we kind of got like a system down and we always finish with the basement because it's the part that I love the most and I get the most excited about and also takes the longest to talk about. So we'll get through the upstairs and then we'll get down to the basement. Now there's only 17 stairs, which isn't bad. I've only fallen down them once and I thought I broke her leg. Oh my gosh, that's true. You fell on her leg. I forgot about that. <laughs> Hazy, hi, I'm coming. <laughs> Let's, let's come down start here. Start with the kids' bedroom. Yeah, let's start with let's start with Hazy's the princess. Ooh, want to? Hazy, do you want to show me your room? Show me your room, okay? <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> Who is that pretty girl? It's <laughs> Hazy. She said, "Mommy, picture cheese." Cheese. Hazy, do cheese. Cheese. <laughs> so, guys, this is the princess room. This is like I the knew perfect right girl room. I when we bought this house. I was like, oh, "This is Hazy's room. I can just picture her bed right in the window." I love it. And what I love also also is that like she can grow with this room. We've got plans for putting in kind of like a bench thing right there in between. She can have a bed, a little push. Yeah, I love it. 
somewhere to sit uh, underneath the windowsill there. She also has the biggest closet in the entire house. Ooh, messy closet it has though, two cautious. Actual doors. But honestly, it's a double wide. It goes clear back there, which honestly, it could not be a better closet for a girl. <laughs> yeah. Right, and I haven't decorated yet because I hadn't painted it for a long time. So now that it's finally painted, <laughs> decorations will be coming. My dad built this for oh, me to hang done. all of Look her bows on. Wow. But I don't know how to screw it into the studs, so I need my dad to come do that for me. It's I can do me. that. Oh my gosh. Okay, this room, absolute. Did she make a face behind me? Comment yes. below if she made a face behind me. <laughs> She's like this. <laughs> so guys, this is the absolute princess room. This is the nightly routine of getting her to bed right here. This is my favorite part of rocking her. The whole day. And I love that little like cutout window thing right there. So Just a early. perfect princess room. Hey! Moving on down the hall into this? room two. Welcome to oh. the hint. KB, whose bed is whose? Hmm. Who do you guys think? Do you think this is Brexton's with a K and Cruz with a B? No. <laughs> no. So their room, we kind of, for whatever reason, just divided it right down the center. They have each have their own dresser, and then in the closet, they each have their own sides. And so it's kind of like these it's rooms are oddly division. long and skinny, but yeah. it kind of works out. Yeah, look at this. I'm going to come clear back here. Look how far away it is to that door. To me, it looks like a key. Look at that. Like, I remember the first time I laid down with these guys to go to bed and I stood up and normally I have like really bad cracking ankles and knees. It's like a weird genetic thing. So when I got up to walk out of the room, I always would do it very lightly so I didn't wake them up with my cracking knees and ankles. And I got up and started this He's trek. Because like, yeah. <laughs> it used to be, I, I got up and I took one step and I was out of the room. I, we had three kids in one room, two of them on bunk beds, another one sandwiched next like to the wall. We should like a video to show that somehow because We've got our, to. their bedroom was like literally... We had a set of bunk beds and a toddler bed. So it'd be like bunk bed, toddler bed, and then like door out, like right here. That was where everybody in the family lived. So this room will probably be painted next. Um, we started with Hazy's room because you got to start with the princess and we're going to work our way down and paint different rooms. Although we did skip ahead and do the laundry room. That's because we got new washer and dryer and we had to do that. So we'll show you that next. <laughs> All right. Crew? Crew? Anything else you want to say about your room, my man? Um, this looks like a key to me. So you hold right here and then all this stuff goes in. Oh, I like that. Well, let's unlock the key to happiness. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, here we go. Super tiny linen closet. There you go. Not a big enough closet for really much of anything, but hey, it fits Brex. Yeah. It fits Brex when he's in timeout, so that's good enough. He only goes there like three times a day. <laughs> oh, and now the newly remodeled laundry. Mom, get in here. This is your, your specialty here. You did this whole thing. Yeah. So this thing was in here, and whenever we first moved in, I said, Brandon, that has got to go. It's the ugliest thing ever. It was brown, it was facing this way, and it was like, it's now she loves it. Though. She loves it. It's Guys, because I have this system. Here's Hazy's clothes. The darks that need to be washed, the darks, or they all need to be washed. The darks <laughs> that need to be washed and dried hung, like I have to hang them. These ones are just dried like normal. I can just throw them in, fold them whenever they're done. Red clothes, towels, and whites. I'm sure I sound the crazy. No, the system's perfect. You gotta do that when you're doing laundry for an army. And really like this thing, just turning it, made me fall in love with it too. Cause as you walk in, it used to kind of stick out a little bit here and it just seems so cramped. And now so cramped. it's a pretty good, spacious, good enough laundry yeah. room. And, and you guys I love, know. I love, love, love my new washer and dryer. Brand like, new washer and dryer. I can do all my laundry can if I, everything in there is full. Can I show them? Yeah, Ryder wants to show yeah. you. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, okay. do, do, do. So to load it, you do this. Oh. Um, oh, so you just like opens from the top? Okay, that's cool. And then, and then when it's done, you unload. What? What? You're telling me that opens two different ways? You gotta be I kidding know. me. It really is like a, such a <laughs> it's really very strange handy. luxury. Hang stuff here if you're hanging stuff to dry. I, I painted this as well as this the other day, or you know, whenever I painted this room. So everything is virtually white. These cabinets have yet to be painted. That is. We'll get that. We'll that get is, that. On the list. Guys, the home was a work in progress, and we were gonna wait to do this tour of the home until we had it all done. But they're like, you know what? It's gonna take a while, like potentially a I year or to more see this to house piece together. This year, so. so yeah, let's go ahead and check it out while we got what we got. This Moving is down. Ryler's. Ryler, bathroom. your very own bathroom. Well, well, yeah. well. I love what you've done the with toilet. the place. It never looks this clean. Okay, what else, buddy? Um, the toilet, <laughs> I have this. Yeah. It's very nice. And then moving on. Oh, Hazy, is that a plate with me and Rye Guy? <laughs> Look at that. Let's do your room first, Rye Guy. Yeah, let's do, do room that, Rye Guy. Let's do Rye Guy's room. Since we just I did know. your bathroom, we'll do that and then we'll move back down oh, the other way. This is my room. Rye Guy, your very own room. Daddy Guys, will 
This is fun for me to do because it just reemphasizes to me the memory of these guys all sharing a room. Hazy had her own baby room, but it was tiny. Me and mom had a tiny room. It is so fun. Oh, I love that sailboat. It's so fun for me to go through this house tour with you guys and just realize and reappreciate how amazing it is for Rye Guy to have his own room, his own bathroom, these boys to share a room, and it's just, it's a wonderful blessing to be in this home. We're so grateful for it. So go ahead and show us your room, Rye Guy. Um, okay, so this is where um, I keep all of my laundry. Okay. Right here. And then in here is just a bunch of toys. They're his special toys. Oh, these are like the kind of special hidden ones. Got and this it. is everything he oh, puts on display. Oh, that's a baby. Check that okay. out. I love it. So that's pretty awesome. He loves this little window right here. You can look out and kind of see like the moon or things like that out that window. So that's kind of fun. It took him a while to warm up to it. At first it scared him, but then after a while he, he learned to love it. So we moved into this house. We were about to put everything away. And I came in to put all of Ryler's clothes in the closet. And I'm like, all of his clothes will not fit in there. I can't put like... You'll see, there's just not enough room. So we so willingly gave up our bedroom set. So Ryler has a full bedroom this set. This is actually like the bedroom set that we had in our old home. This was mine and Minnie's like, for the first ten nine, years, ten years of our marriage. our marriage. And now it became Ryler's. So he's got a queen bed in here, which he loves that. And I love it too, because if I ever have to come in here and lay with him or lay down with him at night, I can pretty much just fall asleep in here and spend the night, and it's great. So one of the other things I love, and let's show him your closet, but I gotta show this view, because my favorite thing when we moved in is this view out of Ryler's back window. See if you can see it right up at that mountain. I mean, it is hard to beat that view of that mountain, and that's what he gets to see every night, oh, which is wait, awesome. turn around. Where am I going? Uh, oh! Oh! <laughs> the swim plaque of greatness. Yeah. All your ribbons, dude. There's a lot of them, bro. Okay, so awesome. let's check out this closet, my man. One thing Ryler was so excited about when we moved into this house was he had a... Indoor closet. Wait, remember Indoor. what it's called? Walk-in closet. <laughs> a walk-in closet. He would walk around telling everybody how I walk around. Walk around telling everybody I have a walk-in closet. Now this recently broke because Riley tried to do a pull-up on it. Uh -huh. And we thought we had it fixed, but it looks like it fell down again. So <laughs> we'll keep <laughs> fixing it. Awesome. It's not a pull-up hmm, bar. I wonder why I call my dad. <laughs> Well, I'll yeah. fix it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Ryler's closet, tons of clothes. It's walk-in and he loves that. Okay, as we pass by, let's just go ahead and highlight Rye Guys surfing in California. Woo! Oh yeah. Okay, what's our next room? I'm All losing right, track, so, where are we? So one of the oh. things whenever we bought this house. Yes. Looking down this hallway. Holy cow. Like it looks like a hotel. It's like, which room is mine? Like the oh, third yeah. one on the right? Is that no, mine? No, it just has a lot of doors. Two of them aren't really even like. Yeah, no, there's like a, an this unusable like door. A there's the linen door, but it just looks cool. All right, guys, we forgot one special oh, epic, always oh messy. Gosh. Mom spent like a half the a day. They're not allowed to play anymore. <laughs> uh, oh, it's always a disaster. <laughs> Except for this one small little window. Oh, there's no lights in there. That's a fan. My bad. <laughs> Guys, this is an epic toy room, and I don't know what else it would be. It's not technically listed as a bedroom, so when they talk about how many bedrooms this house has, this is not listed as a bedroom because there's no closet. No. But it's one of the biggest rooms in the house. So I thought about when we moved in, I thought maybe I should split up the two younger boys and put one in here and one in there, but I'm like, where do you put their clothes? Yeah. So we just use it as like a bonus room. That's what it's called. It's a bonus room. Yeah, so you can see it's kind of got the cool like art ceiling that goes with the roof. And this then- This will also be painted. All this will be white. Yep, we'll be painting all that and then gray down here, right? Yes. It's got a nice big window here to let light in, so as they play, they can have light because there's not really many. You got a couple can lights here. But this is like where we put all these big toys that once again, guys, we had no room for in our last house. We had them in a storage unit. We had this kitchen in a storage unit. We had that table in a storage unit. Yeah, no. This in a storage unit. We yes. couldn't fit any of it in our home. And now, we can put it all in this room comfortably and they can stay in it here is, and play. It is so great. But it's also a place where they come and like literally, I think they're like, how far can this toy go? Like they just... This is one of those things that you feel stupid complaining about, but one of the things that we recognized quickly when we moved in here is that you can't just like yell, hey, come down for dinner, because if they're in the back corner of this toy room and mom's down in the kitchen, they're not gonna hear her up here, because it's just too far away, too deep of a room. And so it's something that you feel stupid complaining about, but it is something that we didn't consider because we used to all be within like a few yards of each other no matter what. Right guy, what are you gonna show us over there? Um, this is the TV that used to be in our room, in our old house. But now we moved it in here so we can watch TV. This is where we watch the vlogs remote, right here. Yeah. You got the remote right here? Yeah, this is where we watch the vlogs sometimes at night as we're winding down getting ready for bed. We, we got a ton of books to read right there. We it's got a little it. Velcro strip so we so don't, we lose, don't it. lose it. Which honestly, miraculously, we haven't. Like that's crazy. Yeah. Okay. No, no, no. Should we go check out? Uh, who's? No, we got a bathroom left. So let's get another bathroom up here, right? Oh yeah. This is the second bathroom that I get to clean. Oh. This one is for right now. This is Crew and Brexton's. 
and hazy, but she doesn't really use a bathroom. So this is what crew and Brex use. I think what we need to do is put in a double sink here eventually. Yes. That's a for sure. There's enough room for it, so that's great. Just realized you can see me. Hi guys. You haven't really seen me much. Right guys, in here, in the actual bathroom part and shower. So you got a bathroom, shower, everything you need. Oh, one sec. <laughs> These will also, this room will also be painted, but I actually don't mind this color. It's actually an okay bathroom color. Like, it's kind of like almost like an aqua-ish green, which feels bathroomy. Or like a little bathroom. <laughs> what does that even mean? I don't know. What oh, that I love it. Bathroom. Guys, do you want to go into our bedroom? Let me just tell you, it needs to be decorated. Yeah, there's nothing on the walls at all. Okay, let's go check it out. I present to you the master bedroom. The, okay, first, <laughs> envision this royal blue. Oh my gosh, you guys, we've got to go back and show you pictures. I don't know how I'm going to find them. I'll link the video when we first walk through this home. This was the brightest, royalest, craziest blue ever. Like it was it's the like first room we painted because we weren't. Than this. It was nuts. It was crazy. The bathroom, everything. We did like nine coats and you could still see the blue. We ended up having to pay somebody to do it because we just could not cover it up. No, it was bad. Like the ceiling was blue. Yeah. yeah. But we have amazing Sally. views out here. You can't really see them like we have the most beautiful sunset out this window. Today's not a great day for it, but the sun always sets right there in between these two homes. It's a gorgeous sunset every night. And then out here in this bedroom window, we get like that shot of the mountains. Probably my favorite view, you guys. I love it. You've seen this in drone videos a bunch because I always drone it. That's just like our fun little mountain, I call it, because it's just right in our backyard. We look at it all day, every day, and we love it. So this is our bedroom. Uh, there's not one Giant thing on the wall. Minky extraordinaire. I don't even know what to say about this room. I mean, first... It's very plain. This is our master bedroom, but it's very plain. And let's be honest, we don't spend a lot of time here. Like, we don't. Mom's doing nail clients tonight. I'm editing. We go to bed super late. We're just not in the master bedroom very often, so we haven't given it as much attention as we probably should. But it's a beautiful master bedroom, and so we I'm love it. So I'm gonna go shopping. Okay, should we go into the bathroom, guys? Yeah. Hi, Dad. Yeah. Mirror right here. I hung it crooked. <laughs> One thing that like blew our minds when we saw this house is how big this bathroom is. Honestly, and it's a little echoey. I know every time I've ever shot a video in here, it's almost impossible to understand what I'm saying. So we'll keep this quick. But there is so much space in here. You've got the double sink, you've got the deep jetted tub, you've got the standalone shower, little bathroom over here that we always wish had a door, but it doesn't. Very beautiful. I love the gray, I love the white, I love what mom's done yes. to it. So that's a nice jetted tub. We're really, uh, Brex and Hazy take a lot of baths in there because it's yeah. just really convenient. It's like swimming they in a pool. It. Now guys, this is just gonna be, I'm gonna give you a quick like indication as to who, who's like, who's the more important person based on closet size. Let's just go ahead and show you quickly mom's closet. I really like From this. Time I sleep in here because it's big enough. I can't hear you. Are you on the other end Stop of it? Where are you? It. It's a pretty decent closet. It's pretty great. You know what? Your clothes are hung in my closet. Oops. I, this is mom's closet. I clearly have a clothes Got a couple problem. things. Now let's go ahead and go check out dad's closet, should we? Oh, let's get this little Okay, excuse me guys. Here. Sorry, hold on. Let me just get in these tight little quarters here and oh then just gosh. open up like this. Oh, there you go. So a couple things stacked right there, but okay. Go ahead and shut it guys. There you go. Yeah. It was your idea, I'm pretty sure. For me. I actually I offered prefer that. to share. I'll let you know it this. Wasn't sincere, if you've watched these, <laughs> if you've watched these vlogs long enough, you'll know that of all the outfits in that closet, I've probably worn five in the last six years. Yeah, he wears the same stuff all the time, so like it doesn't really matter. I don't need a lot of space for clothes. I don't have a lot of clothes. Guys, guys we go downstairs? we've done the main floor, we've done the garage, we've done the upstairs, we've done the undecorated master bedroom. Basement. Basement time. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, guys, now we're heading down into the basement, which I will say mom does not spend much time down here. I don't One, like she hates basements. Two, it's cold and she doesn't like that. And three, she's terrified of spiders, but we spray and I've never seen a spider, but it's still a phobia True. first. I've never so, seen spiders, but I still hate we're them. heading down into the basement where I'm going to probably take over this tour because this might be the second time she's seen it since we lived here. Oh my gosh, stop it. The carpet, though. <laughs> the carpet is unreal, it's guys. It's like marshmallow -y. One of the first things we noticed when we took a tour of this house was we stepped on this carpet and I was like, I feel like I'm on a pad this thick. Like, I just want to sleep on it. It's really comfy and soft. So this is Here's sometimes the desk. where I, well, I guess call it work. This is where I upload blog stuff. This is where Brandon stores all of his GoPro stuff. This is kind of cool. You might not be able to see it with the reflection, but this is a, something that we got sent from GoPro when they released the Hero 5. Um, they sent it in this really cool black box with the black seeker. Um, to thank us for being in the GoPro Hero 5 release video. And so that was really rad to get that. So we framed that, thought that was pretty cool. Right off of that, we have another, this is like a hybrid it's like room. It's like a, I don't know. It has, it's a room again, it has no closet. So it's not specified. It's not called a room. Bedroom. Yeah, it's not be called a bedroom. So this room has, it was a toy room and then I kind of morphed it into. Like a craft toy room. Yeah, we need to do something with that. It's like a half I and totally half. hate that. 
But honestly, this started out as like toy room number two. This has one of that epoxy floor, just similar to the garage. So we put in these cool mats, like these little puzzle mats, and did a little design in them. Me and uh, Mindy's dad did that. And it made it to like a nice soft floor so the kids can play in it and not worry about getting hurt. And it made an epic toy room for a really long time, but it was just kind of always a massive disaster with well, toys I didn't everywhere. Really play in here, like, I don't know what it is. Maybe in the winter they do more because they can't play outside. As I think much. that's probably it. But yeah, this is where we keep our trains and like our food, the kids' toy, I mean, baby toys. Hazy, do you like this room? Yeah. <laughs> So then the other half, we've turned into like this craft room, which Mindy doesn't really do any crafts in here. It's just like storing the craft stuff. Then she'll take it out and do the craft somewhere else, yeah, right? Yeah, I mean, ideally this room, I would turn into having like a cool table and like shelves hung or cabinets or I don't know. But then like, as the kids get older, does Ryder want to move in the basement and have this be his room? Will we make Ooh, like a makeshift car? Right, like, guy. Ooh. How would You know that what I mean? Be? So like, I don't want to like, but it doesn't even have carpet. It literally has, I'll show you guys. I showed, I told him it's oh, the epoxy thing like the yeah, garage. The yeah. So, cold storage, cold guys. Storage has the epoxy floor. Oh yeah, same floor. It has this floor. Yeah. So this is where we store decorations, case lot sell food, items. sprinkles. I got halfway through it before I went on a diet. Party. So. This is all like party stuff. I love to throw parties. I have every bin. I, I have everything. So now, guys, this is like really bad lighting in here. So I don't know if you can hardly see anything at all. This is once again, guys, one of those wonderful things in our old home. We had to take all of these decorations to a storage unit down the road. Oh my God. And then when it was holiday that time, was we'd go get all the decorations, bring them back to the house, remove all the decorations from the previous season, take them back to the storage unit. So it's amazing to have them right down here in the basement. Mindy it's says, hey, so let's decorate good. for Christmas. Walk downstairs, grab the bins, walk them up and start decorating. It's unbelievable that feeling. Yeah, so like I hung up all the wreaths for all the different seasons. This is all kids clothes that they've grown out of. This is all Christmas. It's incredible how much it fits. Memory stuff. As you can imagine, mom's got it hyper organized, divided by season. And we've got fall, Halloween, you really can't oh, see yeah, anything. Really like, these are orange bins for If you Halloween. guys watched our Easter egg hunt that we put on for the entire neighborhood, this is where all those Easter eggs come from. Uh, this isn't all of them. That yeah, that's actually a very small portion. That was crazy fun, huh, guys? Okay. Food, Nutella, cotton candy, Mike and Ike's. Oh my gosh, we gotta just keep cracking into that. And stuff. All right, here we go. Ready Moving on, what's next? What do we even have left? JK, I already know what we have left. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's go to Maddie's room first, guys. Maddie's room first. We don't have to show. This is the mechanical this is room. Like electrical room. Yep. We got uh, Wi-Fi and stuff like that in there. <laughs> Just go ahead and turn straight this way. Okay, this is an unfinished bathroom, nothing to see there. We're gonna finish that off. We actually, if you guys were with us and you remember Christmas, I got a toilet for that room so that I could put in a toilet so I can go to the bathroom when I'm working down here. We haven't put it in yet, so we're working on that. We wanna tile it first. Anyways, work in progress. Oh, I feel like we should sing a Shawn Mendes song. There's nothing holding me back. I don't know what the words are, but I'm still singing it now. And Maddie's gonna be embarrassed that we're singing Shawn Mendes in her room. Oh my okay. gosh, anyway. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> kidding, kidding. So this is Maddie's room. You guys know that probably. She isn't here very often. I mean, actually, she's here quite a bit. Just not as often as we would like. So she's got a nice queen size bed. She used to have a twin. We just upgraded her just recently. Got our Shawn Mendes poster. She's actually gone through and picked out a lot of the stuff, which is fun because she came out one time for a trip, went with Minnie to the store and picked out all these decorations to go on the shelf. Now this shelf is another one of our little treasures that was a piece of junk that Minnie turned into it something held special. It toys and movies and it held everything. So I painted it white outside. I think I videoed that. Yeah, it was like, like this dark brown color. So we were gonna yeah. get rid of it. We didn't know what so to do with it. That. She painted it white and I forget that that's what it was because I'm always like, that's such a nice piece of furniture in Maddie's room. And it's just one of those things that Mindy was able to make. So yes, this is Maddie's so, room. All of you that send her packages, I usually like to let her open them. So we'll put them right in here until she comes to visit. So okay. This is a great room. Maddie's closet all over right, there. Own space. Away all right, guys. I think we got one room left, and it's Dad's favorite room in the Stop. entire house. <laughs> Not even kidding, you guys. This is why I bought the house. <laughs> I'm not even, you guys. Like we had a bunch of houses on the list and I was like, there would probably, I don't know, overall, not even joking guys, overall, every single thing about this home is exactly what we ever wanted in a home. I came into but this, this home. this sealed the deal. And we were standing upstairs and he turns around and I was just standing there crying. I in was the like, middle of the kitchen, right by the island crying. This and is I was our like, house. I was like, what happened? What's wrong? And she's like, this is our house. I was like, all right. Get out your checkbook. There you go. You <laughs> but we're here now and we're loving it. Guys. Quick reveal, you've seen it a hundred thousand times, but Woo! the Bingham Family Movie Theater. <laughs> oh, you guys, this is absolutely my favorite room okay. in the house. It was the biggest selling point for me. Do you want to demonstrate? Okay, so here's what, <laughs> so here's hey, what I show people. Everyone that came to the house, 
He's like, so, okay. So, you come in, and you're like, oh, I want to watch a movie. So you come over here, center seat. I've got the surround sound dialed in right to this middle seat right here. Kick back. You're watching the movie. Oh, this is awesome. I kind of want a snack, but I don't want to go all the way upstairs. Why don't I just come over here to my little bar, grab something out of the refrigerator. You guys thirsty? All right, cool. Yeah. Let's make some popcorn. Sounds good. Woo. Oh, kind of dirty now. I'm going to wash out my hands. Let's get a new movie. What do you say, guys? <laughs> Okay, I don't always do that. But. The best part was, you didn't even do the part I was waiting for. Wait, what do I do? Oh, and then if I want to, I can come over here. That's because Brexit's on here. Because <laughs> Brexit knows that this is where I lay down. And this is where I lay with him, too. <laughs> but I do love to lay here. Like, I haven't done it in a really long time. Because I used to finish my night here. And just kind of lay down in bed, watch a movie or something. But now I sit in that chair right there and edit the vlog. Our $10 chair we and got. And then it's like 2 or 3 in the morning by the time... I go to bed, and so I don't really lay here, I just go right up to bed. But sometimes on Sundays when we do quiet time and, and we come down here and Hazy's taking a nap, I'll come down here with the boys, we'll watch a movie and just kind of rest and relax, and I'll have one or two of them mm, climb on me and cuddle, and this is my favorite little spot. I'm getting up, let's go. It's great that I don't really like to be down here because there's really not a spot for me. We've got Brandon. No, are you we've kidding got me? Ryler, three Rex or four crew. spots on that couch, and two of them kick out. These he two always kick makes out. Me lay on the ground. This is the theater. I obviously would have like 10,000 things to say about this. You got the projector up here. It's a wonderful projector that projects in 3D. So I thought it was 7.1 surround sound, so it's built into the wall. You got speakers here, you got them back here, back there, over there, over there. Both sides of this, there's actually another one behind the screen and then a giant self-powered sub over there. It's amazing, you guys. This room is amazing. The it absolute honestly, best place to watch movies. We wanted a house with a bigger yard and the only reason we decided with this one, Brandon's like, you know what, fine, I'll sacrifice the yard to the theater. Yep, Fine. that was it. That was honestly it. I thought, you know what, the yard's big enough and it has been as we've done parties and we've done fun things in the backyard. We've had enough room it's for that. It's actually bigger than I think when I put up tables, I'm like, oh my gosh, this totally works. Yeah, there's actually enough room. It just looks kind of but small because of the way the houses are quite, stacked I mean, next as to each other. our kids get older, they're gonna play outside less. They're gonna wanna bring friends over. And this is where I imagine like high school dance, whatever. you come here and watch a movie watch after, a movie. it's perfect. And my parents gave me this when we first moved in because they knew how excited I was about it. Cinema sign pointing this way. Guys, let me tell you this right now. When we get our YouTube silver play button, it's going right here. That is going to be right here in our theater where we watch our YouTube videos where they are created right there. And that's gonna be where we hang that silver play button, which we are so excited about. I, don't, I think we briefly just brushed over this because I was kind of joking over here, but it does have this nice little bar yeah, with a sink, awesome. refrigerator, awesome microwave, thing. everything you need down here. We store all of our games in here. Yeah, like board games and other games like that. So that is the Bingham family household. You've you seen it all. It. You've seen like snippets of it probably going, where is that room? And A lot of them you've seen, some we, of them maybe you haven't, but. We love our house. It's perfect for us. It's everything we've ever wanted. And we've waited a long time. Like we were in a townhouse. So the three boys used to sleep together in one room. Maddie and Hazy, Maddie used to sleep on the floor, you guys, in Hazy's room. On yeah. the floor. I We'd so, have like a blow up mattress that would deflate through the night and she would sleep on the floor in Hazy's room. It was room. so bad. Yeah. But like we waited a long time to get a house. And we love that we're able to share it with you guys. Yes. We love that we've been able to share this house with you today. We hope you enjoyed it. Comment below maybe what your favorite room was, what your favorite place was, where maybe you would hang tips. out. Maybe some decorating tips. We love you. Thank you so much for checking out this house tour. We really hope you enjoyed it. Give this one a thumbs up because I know a lot of people have been asking for this for a very long time. So if you enjoyed the house tour, Finally made it happen. go ahead and throw it on a thumbs up. And in fact, if you've lasted this long in the video, this is a long video. It takes a while to give a house tour, but if you've lasted this long, you probably already gave it a thumbs up anyway, and we love you guys for that. Love you so much. Have a great weekend. We've got so much coming up this weekend. Oh, my what? soccer game. Soccer, soccer game. game. So much fun stuff coming up, you guys, so stick around. Subscribe if you haven't. We love you guys. That's the vlog for today. The whole vlog is a full house tour. You asked for it. You got it. We love you. So, guys, thank you for joining us here in the Bingham house, and what is one thing that we always tell people when they're leaving our home? Thank you. We love you. Love you guys. See Bye. Ya. Bye.